Today is the 21st of May, 2022. Make sure to go to my website, www.susanmuling.com, also known as www.ladydorybell.com, and go and look around as far as what I've been working on. There's my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, and make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube channel, Make sure to like my official YouTube videos and share the link to my official YouTube videos. So, anybody who has heard of this movie by Stephen King called Cat's Eye knows about the second portion of the movie regarding the smoking cessation course and how that particular situation kind of plays out. If you don't, well, go look it up. <laughs> so, in this particular reference, I was listening to Greg Gutfeld or the Gutfeld Show on Fox uh, through the YouTube as far as the channel. And so, in the particular video that I was listening to, Greg Gutfeld had talked about NPR and how NPR was discussing certain things such as the mask mandates. And the reference point to that is the way certain individuals have been encouraged to tell on each other. You know, the way homeowners associations tend to do so. So for those who know how homeowners associations are, maybe depending on the reference. So in, I can't remember what year, I had taken my son and my daughter to see this movie called Over the Hedge. <laughs> seen this cartoon movie well <laughs> it does have a homeowners association and uh, there are certain similarities regarding how that particularly is with in reference to homeowners association so I'm going to give a few examples my first house that I purchased through my VA home loan that's my house I was turning 20 years old and so I was the youngest person to own a house in the Homeowners Association neighborhood of Pheasant Creek subdivision this is before I started looking as I do. And so then <laughs> I was pregnant with my daughter, <clears throat> my son was already born and you know, purchased the corner in the cul-de-sac house and got to know some of my neighbors. And the only reason why I purchased my house was because I liked my house. The information I was told by the realtor was that it was in a homeowners association. And I asked, well, what is that? And so I was informed that supposedly with the homeowners association, they just make sure that your grass is a certain height and doesn't go over a certain height. And there's no broken down vehicles in your lawn. That's what they told me. And I asked, was there anything else I should know about homeowners associations? I was told, that's all they do. They just make sure that the grass is a certain height and there's no broken down vehicles in your front yard. Anybody who's lived in a homeowner's association, you know otherwise. So <laughs> I moved in and uh, I didn't really get along with some of the people at all. Um, so the starting point is the president of the homeowners association at the time in the year of 2002 lived diagonally across the street from my house. The mailboxes were on my property though. And so 
he had to come onto my property, although he shouldn't have had to because of where the mailboxes actually were. However, I now understand in the year 2022 compared to the year of 2002, it just took me 20 years to figure out why the people who I purchased the house from had put the cacti in that corner area. Yeah, yeah, and it's irony because it literally is a diagonal <laughs> directly to where that homeowners association president's house was. Yeah, yeah, where I took the cacti out because it was one of those, oh, well, you know, there are children in the neighborhood. I have children. There are people who go around doing exercising and stuff like that. You know, there's, you know, disabled veteran guy, you know, and they go, I'll be a cool neighbor and just kind of, no big deal, I'll go and have that removed, that's no big deal. And then, <laughs> then I, then I, then I learned why. <laughs> Unfortunately, the hard way. So I, I was mowing my lawn one day and I have this push mower and I don't mean self-propelled, but it does look like a self-propelled mower. It's a push mower and I push it and I'm pushing it and I'm, you know, getting in shape because, you know, <laughs> I got stuff to do. So this extra, so for those who don't know, a self-propelled mower, it actually has an engine that propels and you can adjust the speed with a with a push mower, um, you are the speed. <laughs> so however fast you can push it is how fast it goes. And so I was, you know, getting back in shape after having delivered my second child. So I was, I was in high speed mode. Yes, I was, I would get my whole property completed in less than an hour. And so it was one of those, yes. All right, accomplished. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> well, so there was this guy, he's the president of the Homeowners Association, and he lived on, the, and I didn't know he was the president of the Homeowners Association. Not that it mattered. Didn't mean anything to me at all. So, because what would I care? <laughs> I know who I am, so what would I care? And so <laughs> I'm, you know, pushing the lawnmower and I see this guy and he's walking towards the mailbox. Oh, okay, well, you know, I'll be, I'll be friendly, you know, and I push the lawnmower, no different. I actually had slowed the speed down so that way I didn't have to, you know, come across a certain way, so okay, whatever. And so just turn off the lawnmower and Hi, my name's Susan. And the mail at the mailbox looked at my hand, looked at me, looked at my hand, looked at me, and then said, I don't shake hands with the help. I have this self, I have this lawnmower in front of me that I literally just pushed. <laughs> I have to lift it to put into the shed. And so while I am thinking about how I can <laughs> I'm strong enough to use a push lawnmower <laughs> and pick it up to put into the shed because I didn't have a ramp. <laughs> Whatever 
as far as rude attitude and it's like all right well you know since I was born and raised in New Jersey, but it really doesn't have to take that. The next words out of my mouth were very New Jersey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had only been awake from my coma for just a little over two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still had the subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain. So you can imagine what my words were. <laughs> For as many people who have told me they know how people from New Jersey are, you might actually be correct at this point in time. <laughs> I had a few words and <laughs> a couple, just one or two, <laughs> a thousand. <laughs> and they had, if, if it were to be on a daytime, well, it wouldn't be on a daytime television station. <laughs> Because all you would hear would be B and B U E. Because <laughs> that's just how it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just, you know, I mean, in my defense, I had only been awake from my coma from my anatomy on Pop Sunday in 2000 for just a little over two years, and I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage in the front of all of my brain still. And in my defense, I remembered New Jersey more than I ever did Illinois. And so, <laughs> I only was in Illinois for a year and a half. I was in New Jersey almost 16 years. So I had many more memories. <laughs> issues remembering the names of colors that's okay i had no issues <laughs> there was no memory deficit for the words at all <laughs> not in the slightest that was <laughs> clear as day because it also was in the daytime so fast forward this guy just kind of does this, and anybody who's lived in a homeowners association, you know, or visited somewhere that had a homeowners association, you know. So the male just, hmm, and then turned around and walked off, and it's like, I didn't <laughs> pick this up. So, <laughs> fast forward a little bit later, I have a barbecue that's going to go on, and the cul-de-sac and a, a couple others were invited to barbecue. <clears throat> well, I go and mow the lawn another day and all of a sudden this guy, the, who I still don't know is the president of the homeowners association, comes out of his house and he's gonna go and whatever up to the mailbox and I slow down because it's like, uh, this son of a... <laughs> gonna just... <laughs> And so he walks up to me, walks past the mailbox, and he's like, hi, how are you? And it's like, I have this lawnmower. <laughs> and the blades are running. <laughs> because anyone who's ever mowed a lawn, you know, especially with the, the motorized one, when you release, that's when the blades stop moving. As long as you keep your hands like this, the blades are moving. Mmm, that's how that goes. And so he's talking, and he's all excited, and I'm holding on to the lawnmower. <laughs> and so finally, I'm like, all right, well, I know how to restart it, that's for certain. So I let the, I allowed the lawnmower blades to stop spinning. Again, so much self-control. <laughs> Because all it takes is pushing one red dot and pulling the cord, and that is going again. And so, but this guy, he's ironically standing in front of my lawnmower. <laughs> Which is an irony in a very different point in time in the state of Texas. Because I was literally, why are you on my lawn? And so, <laughs> I got this lawnmower. It's got a 21 inch blade. It's okay, I like to garden. <laughs> <laughs>
it's okay. <laughs> so, you know, so this guy, he's like, so I hear you're having a barbecue. And in my thoughts, it's, I turned my lawnmower off for this. <laughs> yeah, I fucking... Yeah, I fucking know I'm gonna have a fucking barbecue like I don't fucking know. I'm fucking doing all the yard work so that way I can get ready. And this is in my thought. So this guy, he's like, so you know, you're gonna do this and you're gonna do that. And it's like, uh-huh. And then he starts telling me about food that he likes. Which then confuses me. Because why do I care? <laughs> What is it that I'm supposed to understand from this? And so he goes on about this, and I just, I, 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 do I, do I restart my lawnmower? Like I'm very confused. Do I pick up my lawnmower? Like what am, what am I, what am I supposed to do? You know. And so this guy, he continues going on about how he likes this different type of stuff. Then he got quiet, and he looks at me. And I look at my lawnmower. <laughs> specifically where the motor and the engine and the blades are. That's where I specifically look compared to the handle, just for clarification. I just look at that. And then I look at the guy who's looking at me. And then I look back at that area of the lawnmower. <laughs> and look at my grass. Look at my lawnmower again. Look at this guy. And it's okay, and what? And he goes, So you're gonna invite me to your barbecue now, aren't you? Because I told you what I want in the in the barbecue. I look back down at my lawnmower. <laughs> I, I, I for those who know. I go to the second rung of the lawnmower handle. I lift it up just to verify that the grass is out of there, just in case for those. I'm not saying anything other than I was making sure that there wasn't any grass clippings caught in the blades. That's all. <laughs> Put the lawnmower back down. Look at that area of the lawnmower again. Look at this guy, <laughs> very confused. The thoughts in my mind are everywhere, as many grass clippings, for an example. <laughs> and I'm not inviting you to my barbecue. And he, well, why? This is literally, because it's my barbecue, I'm gonna do this. I've already got the food. I've got the brisket marinating. I'm doing A, B, C, D, F, G. And he goes, well, then you don't need to worry about, uh, no, what you need to understand is this is my property, my house, my barbecue goes my way. And so, you know, you're not gonna be telling me how to barbecue at my barbecue pit because I'm barbecuing and you don't tell me how to barbecue because in this, and see, this is rules of the barbecue. You're gonna tell me on my property. I don't care if we weren't in the backyard. You're gonna tell me how I'm gonna barbecue. I know there have to be people who have barbecued before. Okay, fine, I was born and raised in New Jersey. I was in the state of Texas. <laughs> I was in San Antonio. Okay, I don't think it really matters where in the state of Texas, but it, 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 my barbecue. It, 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 so this male was trying to tell me, I, I mean, he's a male. He should know what rules of the barbecue are. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> and so I'm standing there completely just baffled because how is this male having the nerve to stand on my property telling me how I'm all barbecue at my barbecue with my barbecue pit as far as my barbecue? I, I, I cannot be the only person who has like that, that issue. <laughs> so, you know, for those who don't understand this, I can go to a barbecue and be like, all right, do you need any assistance? You know, give that distance. Do you want me to go pick something up and, and bring the marinade out? You know, I understand that's the rules of the barbecue. 
<laughs> there's a certain amount of distance between the barbecuer and someone that's just there, you know, in comparison to going up to the barbecuer and being like, so I like this, 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 and excuse the I don't think so on my property. Oh, no, <laughs> no, not, mm -hmm. and again, I look back down at my lawnmower. <laughs> And you know, you do need knives to be capable to barbecue. And so I just, you know, breathe, you know, and I've already given birth to my son and my daughter, so I really shouldn't have to be doing Lamaze class while looking at my lawnmower. <laughs> while this president of the Homeowners Association is telling me what he likes at a barbecue. And so, you know, I did what I could to be calm, and I was. I was so calm in comparison because the lawnmower stayed on the ground, okay? <laughs> I did have to disassemble it and reassemble it because anybody who knows what happens when you pull the cord too hard. Not saying that I did that. What I am saying is that I had to disassemble the lawnmower to put the cord back in. <laughs> Just saying I was a smidgen upset because in my defense, I am how I know I'm not the only one. How the, it's a barbecue. It's, I, it's, it's, it's just saying. <laughs> while I'm taking care of my lawn. It's like, I know I'm a biological female, that's fine. Two areas you don't mess with. First off, I'm mowing my lawn. Second, talking to me about how I'm a barbecue? Psh. So proud of myself, this is 2022. This is back in 2002. Hey, how much self-control. <laughs> At this point, maybe that's why I can make a joke why I have to wear such thick corsets. Because, you know, I need to, you know, just remember. <laughs> so, <laughs> especially the six to well, eight millimeter boning. Saying, you know, sometimes... And I can't be the only person who has dealt with certain situations. So, you know, I inform him as politely as I can, which is the most polite that's possible. Again, the lawnmower stayed on the ground. <laughs> and I informed him that he was not going to be at my barbecue. I didn't want him there. He wasn't going to do certain things because I wasn't going to tolerate some male telling me how to go into a barbecue on my property in my house. I don't know. Well, that didn't go over very well. He threw a little temper tantrum, couldn't believe that I had the nerve to deny him an invitation that I didn't give him. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was very upset. He's all the way back over to his property. I looked at my lawnmower. It wasn't that time that I had to disassemble it. It was once I was done in the back because as I went to go take care of something, then it, it was. Nonetheless, took care, got the rest of the property taken care of, the barbecue went on the way the barbecue went on, and it was as it was. Fine. <clears throat> so then, other stuff, and I was gardening. So I started putting flower bulbs in my front yard. And one day, I am, you know, <laughs> on the ground and I'm, I'm, I got my, I have a hand cultivator. So for those who don't know what this is, it's an ax on one side and a three prong <laughs> on the other side of this. So I'm using this hand cultivator, okay, to break up the soil in San Antonio, for those who know what the soil is. <laughs> And so I'm using this hand cultivator and this homeowners association president guy is like, 
What do you think you're doing? As I have this hand cultivator in my hand, and it's like, I have so much self-control. I, I have so much self-control because it's got these three pointy prongs and a flat ax, essentially. And it's like, and it's got a wooden stick. Just in case. <laughs> and I stand up. This guy is on my property. So I just, you know, do what I can to not <laughs> lose it. And so this guy, he's just like, did you have permission to put these plants in your property and do it? And I Oh, I'm done with you. I, I, after finding out that you were uh, president of the Homeowners Association, I want to let you know I read the covenant. That male took five steps backwards. You did what? Yeah, no. These bulbs, they're bulbs. They're not bushes. Bushes is where I'd actually have to ask to get permission to put it on my property. So thank you very much. Since these are flower bulbs, there's a difference between bushes and bulbs. You might want to actually check into it. Additionally, some of these are rhizomes. So maybe, just maybe, you should step off my lawn. Thank you. <laughs> and the guy was like, well, I don't know about that. I mean, you need to, do you, don't you think? I don't need to think because I read the covenant of the homeowners association. That guy freaked out so bad. His tail was tucked between his legs damn near and ran across the wee, 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 all the way home. <laughs> so then, you know, I felt the need. <laughs> I was doing a whole bunch of gardening in my in, in the overall aspects of my property. So while I was going to create a vegetable and fruit garden in the very back part of my property. <clears throat> so I went to go pick up a six or eight tier rototiller. <laughs> And I literally did. I, you know, moved the seats in my van, picked up, and it was funny because where I went to the rental location, the guy's like, oh, I can help you put it. No, I have to make sure I do this. I have work to do. <laughs> the guy's like, wow, you could pick up that road until I, wow. Okay, well, that works. Cool. You yeah, have a good day. <laughs> In the little minivan. Yep, Ford Windstar. <laughs> and so I get back to my house, and the president of the Homeowners Association is outside, and it's like, that's cool. Yeah, my car is just like, yeah, that's right. I got this minivan, that's right. And I go and look over at this guy and like, mm -hmm. pop open the <laughs> trunk area. Look at, the, I like, for those who understand this, I make eye contact with this guy. And I grab the sides of the rototiller, okay? And it's like, <laughs> The guy just, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, get it on the other side of the driveway. Mm-hmm, that's right. <laughs> These blades are situations regarding this and he had complained to a few people because I read the covenant the homeowners association 
And in my front yard, I, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, that. List the section number, everything. And this, that, and the other, and it's a rhizome in comparison to a bush. Da -da 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 -da. Well, a few weeks after that, there was a notification that there was a new president of the Homeowners Association. Oh, okay. Well, let me clarify and rewind a bit. After my first barbecue, shortly thereafter, we're going to have a neighborhood barbecue. Everybody's invited. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden, a couple of weeks or a couple of months later. Uh-huh. And so, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. So, you know, this is it is. Couple of, so fast forward back to the rototiller and whatever. All of a sudden, there's a, um, a rain bird that is sitting on my fence line and I don't understand what's there. So I see it at night and I just see the silhouette of this thing and it's like, what is that on my foot? What, what is that? That's my fence. Because of the sage bushes that were right there, I look and I'm like, well, let me go around. I'm not going to get all whatever. So I go around to the outside and I see this little doohickey mabob on my fence. Well, I didn't put that there. <laughs> Break it off. <laughs> Very different Kit Kat reference. And so I go back to my house, go in the backyard, and I see that, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what, what is this crap? What is this rainbird? And so I look it up online and it says like it's some water sprinkler or something and it's like, well, what the? And so I'm looking at it and I don't understand and I'm just like, you know what? I don't understand. So I go and break it and it's like, well, you know, whatever. Well, this is stupid. I don't have a sprinkler in my property. So, you know, <laughs> don't know who brought this on my property. I didn't get permission. Smithereens, there you go. <laughs> don't care, don't care where it came from. Didn't ask for it, did it? No, 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 no. Hmm, what is this garbage, stupid little rainbird, whatever? <laughs> A few weeks later, sitting out on my back patio, look out, and there is another silhouette. Woo! Woo! I pay for my fence. Go back out, take a look. Another one of these. What is this garbage? In front of the house that is on the corner that's the realtor house, by the way. Right in front of him. What are you doing? And he freaked out and I was like, uh, this is my fence line, thank you. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. And so he tried explaining what it was for, and it's like, and this is still my fence, this is my property, I don't care about your feelings, I don't care about your opinions. I didn't authorize it, so I don't care. You're not going to install something on my property without my permission. I don't care. Well, what about the homeowners association neighborhood? I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. At all whatsoever. So my biological mother, biological father, biological sister decided to move from Illinois to New Jersey. When my biological father showed up, I let him know on no uncertain terms could he purchase a house in a homeowners association because I guaranteed that he would lose it. This is just up to this point in time. This isn't even anything after. This is literally just from 2002 to 2003. Uh-uh. So, and anybody who's met my biological father. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told him, you don't need to be living in a homeowners association because I was raised by him. I know better. I mean, I, I did grow up with Dan as well, but... I spent a little bit more time with Mike than I did in and of his dad. <clears throat> so, <laughs> is as it is. <clears throat> so, 
I don't care about this rainbird thing. No, 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 it's my property. And then I bring up, well, you know, if this occurs, then what are you going to do as far as my fence is concerned? I don't care. You know, this, like, the, the, obviously, are you going to treat the wood? Are you going to take care of this? Like, what is the, because why should I be responsible just because you think of whatever? No, 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 because I don't want to deal with the little sprinkler, whatever, or whatever. No, 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 because I know what water does. I know, I know. So there was, you know, a disagreement. And so randomly I would be in the cul-de-sac and so I didn't care. <laughs> so <laughs> as the president of the homeowners association at the time and blah, blah, blah. Hi, that was me. Yeah, that was me. I know you could tell it was me, but I just want to verify that you knew that was me who said that. I know you only see that, but I want you to know that it was me. Yeah, I said it. Hi. <laughs> because I am as I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 I said it. Mm-hmm. Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So fast forward after he resigned from being a president of the Homeowners Association and a San Antonio police officer became president of the Homeowners Association. Yeah, yeah, so my neighbor, because I only had one, he received a letter, this is the over the hedge movie situation, his 51st slat was loose. Yeah, somebody went one by one and actually did this to each and every one and counted to the 51st slot. There's something wrong with you people. So go back to that Greg Gutfeld thing. <laughs> Neighbors. Neighbors' precarious redundancy. <laughs> Whatever, as far as that's concerned. So, it's not, it's not, this it, it's homeowners association. This is, ah. So I am in the homeowners association. This homeowners association had separated from the Apple Creek homeowners association. And, you know, because it's Pheasant Creek subdivision compared to Apple Creek subdivision and all this other stuff. And it's like, oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. No. Mm-mm. I find that out. And it's like, oh, wow. Great. I just so happened to buy a house. I'm the first person to buy a house shortly after that had become as. Mm-hmm. So then there's all these other, ugh, so many uh, desperate housewives seeking attention in certain regards. Um, so it's just one of those, I, I, don't have, I, don't, I don't have patience for these situations at all. And I am already, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, I just don't have patience for that sort of stuff. So. One day, I'm in my backyard and I'm gardening after the switchover, and a truck runs through my fence. And you know, I I, I gave my I gave the dog that barked um, the T-bone steak that night because, yeah, no. <laughs> I, because my son and my daughter had just been put up for a nap and I literally was just about to be in the shed area when that truck went through. So I, yeah, he's a good boy, it's a good boy. And so, <laughs> it's a good puppy puppy. Nonetheless, the situation occurred and the Datsun truck and the San Antonio law enforcement showing up four and a half hours after I made the 911 phone call and all that stuff, and you know, one thing after the other after the other of these needless problems with the time frame of the issues with the homeowners association. And it's like, yeah, I know your types. You're not anything new. 
you 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 want to pretend you have a white picket fence and yet all you do is stir up needless drama because they believe that people actually prefer this until they actually know so i started informing the people in the neighborhood about stuff that was inside of the covenant of the homeowners association shortly before this occurred by the way and so i had informed them that when they don't stand up against the homeowners association the longer amount of time that they're in the homeowners association they literally have a clause in certain ones where you are not allowed your second amendment right they literally also remove your freedom of expression right when it comes to the way the exterior of the paint regarding the colors and stuff like that they, I mean, I, I couldn't understand how anybody could actually stand for being in a homeowner's association because you have no constitutional rights when you live in a homeowner's association. You're not allowed to paint your house the color you choose. You're not allowed to put certain plants in unless you ask permission first. You're not allowed to have firearms on the property of the homeowners association grounds because you pay to be a part of it. If you don't pay your fee though, then they'll go and put a lien on your house, which excuse you. And then there's all sorts of other things. I made attempts explaining to what I was reading and a bunch of the other people in the homeowners association neighborhood, they were like, oh, it's fine. It's no big deal. It, we'll, we'll, we'll sacrifice this. So that way we can have a prettier house. We'll sacrifice this so that way our property value. And so there's this terminology of MK Ultra, and it's like, wow, why would you be like, are you serious? And they, these, several of them are like, well, if you don't really like it, go. Okay, I will. That's fine. I don't, I don't have to help you. That's fine. Just, I don't have to assist in any capacity. Keep that in mind though. But if you ever have an issue, and this was back in 2003 or 2004, I think it was 2004. If you ever have an issue, you're going to, you're going to wish that you paid attention because you want to make fun of me for certain things. You're, I can laugh at you because you're all the same. It's how it is. So there were disagreements between some of the neighbors in the cul-de-sac and I, and it was as it was. So after the Fred Loy insurance finally took care of that, and then the shed was actually taken care of, then I dealt with a phone call from the new uh, homeowners association president who wanted to inform me that he was a San Antonio police officer, which I informed him he didn't have the right to even bring up that he was a San Antonio police officer when discussing the situations as far as the homeowners association at all. He tried getting an attitude when it came to that and then I said, <laughs> I let him know, well, if you want to get into whose dick is bigger than whose, I signed the dotted line to be capable to protect the country, not to be rude. However, if you're going to try to go in that capacity, let me let you know the reality on that. And I didn't go into who I actually am in regards of. It was just one of those, mm, don't be, <laughs> do not even, not with as much as I have protected and defended. Do not even, yeah, sure, the Atlantic area, the, the oceanic waters isn't near the state of Texas. I've already been out to the Gulf of Mexico, handled a few situations. So, you know, don't be, <laughs> don't be trying that sort of whatever as far as that's concerned regarding that guy. And so there were issues yet again, because it was one of those, okay, I, I don't, mm, and then this is the year 2004, mind you. So I've also already dealt with certain other situations, which does include Indiana, among a few other situations of 1999 in the 1980s and 1990s. And then I have the backyard situation shortly, shortly after dealing with um, that individual and situation up. 
and it was just one thing after the other just from the starting point because of my barber care. And it's one of those, yeah, well, I have the right as far as my property, as far as my choice. And again, you won't be telling somebody how they're going to barbecue. Not, why, would you, why would you mess with someone who's cooking the food? That's kind of dumb. Why would you do that? But apparently this whatever thought that that was intelligent in comparison. And so I had informed people as far as I was concerned. Then there's the situations as far as the first and second final separation to my now dead ex-husband, which each and every person in this area of the subdivision were very much aware that I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain. I had a head injury on Palm Sunday in the year 2000. They were informed of this. They knew that I had delivered my son less than a year and a half from being awake from my coma while still having the subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain. They knew that I had delivered my daughter less than two and a half years after waking up from my coma from my head injury on Palm Sunday of 2000 with the subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain. They knew this. And yet you want to claim as far as homeowners associations that you do anything that's worthwhile or important? I don't think so. Not when it comes to that. When you have the actual stuff and then I'm dealing with a San Antonio police officer and that's the choice in comparison to actually paying attention to the correct details after the situation regarding my fence where some I think it was the same mail. Oh, gee, it looks like somebody ran through here with a truck. Yeah, no kidding. What would make you think that? The damn tires that are in my lawn? I mean, and then the irony, when he got angry, he's like, where's your father? And ironically, my biological father did pull up in the Honda Civic. <laughs> it was like, what's going on here? Who are you? And that, what is he going to do? Ground me to my own house? sort of thing, like, and it was as it was. It did not help, I acknowledge, I had pigtails in my hair. Can make a Sailor Moon joke at this point. And so, it was as it was, it was as it was. So, you know, I had my little pigtails in my hair. I wasn't a blonde, obviously. It is as it is, and nonetheless, this guy, he's running his mouth, and it's one of those, I cannot believe I'm literally dealing with this. This is ridiculous. I should not have to deal with this sort of stuff. And so it went the way it was and Mike repeated exactly what I told the guy less than five minutes before Mike showed up. What am I gonna do, friend or no doubt? And the guy was, he was just being whatever. And it's one of those, I don't have patience for you. It's pathetic, realistically. Because it is one of those situations, talk about an overreach of power that you don't have any right to do. That's what's wrong. Another aspect in reference to homeowners associations and those types, literally over the hedge, overreach. There's no excuse for that. So then when it came to afterwards, I go to meet with Procom in the office off of 1604 by 281. I show up and I, I demand to meet with the law firm because I've already emailed them multiple times. There is no excuse for the amount of time that it has occurred. There is no allowance for that either. So, you know, I show up, I have my blue suit, and there's a suit dress, there's a little bit of a U-neck, and then um, white piping with white buttons and a white collar. And, you know, my hair was much longer, did the finger curl situation for my hair. <laughs> And I walked in with my little attache case and I was like, hey, so let's talk about this covenant. And I lay out the covenant. It's here's this, A, B, C, go down, section 3.2, sec, you know, whatever, as far as this is concerned, go down the whole kit and caboodle. And the guy was like, well, and I told him, I said, you threatened, you threatened to put a lien on my house when I didn't do anything wrong. I filed the paperwork more than 90 days ago. There is no excuse for the length of time that it has taken. And then you have a San Antonio police officer that decided on behalf of the president of the homeowners association situation to use the San Antonio police department in the capacity of while being a president of the homeowners association in reference to my house. Let me let you know about a law enforcement situation that occurred in Georgia. 
There was a guy who put a flagpole in his property. And this uh, former Marine guy, homeowners associations such as your type, and it's actually your company, by the way, Procom, that this individual had a lien put on his house, went through all sorts of stuff. And when it got into the court system, it was after 9-11 in 2001, that Marine not only made your company have to repay every aspect of, you had to pay to get the people who purchased his property out you had to pay this you had to pay that you did it I went down the list the guy was well I guess we will talk about it with the law firm and whatever 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 three days later I received a letter in my mailbox that said that they gave a variance for the six inches on my shed and let people know the homeowners association neighborhood and it got the way that it did but then the situations in reference to the garage in my house San Antonio, nobody did anything, even though those same people were informed. So you want those white picket fences, but you don't pay attention to what's behind those white picket fences. So in reference to the historical aspect of gravestone markers, the original death angel is a skeleton skull. It's a grim looking situation as far as the, or grimace, I should say, because of the way the, the actual physical depiction is. And so then there's the cherubim that have been utilized. Well, the cherubim, in my opinion, are these homeowners association types because you wanna have such a pretty little whatever and yet you don't pay attention to the, the actual reality when you should be. Because if you wanna go and do certain things, that's ridiculous that you would actually think that this would be considered acceptable, in my opinion. So after the situation, and I'm telling these people in the Homeowners Association at Pheasant Creek Subdivision, what I'm dealing with, they have been introduced to my now dead ex-husband. They've been introduced to Cactus Jack, also known as Jeffrey Kirkendall Jr. by my dead ex-husband in that particular reference. They've been explained this directly from me, and yet they think that they're better. In, in all actuality, they just show their ignorance for the amount of time that it took for them to even put one plus one together to get two, in my opinion. So then the situations go in reference to the year of 2008, after 2007 with the JCPenney pictures and the dress blues regarding the Halloween in 2007, and just constant one after the other, after the other, after the other. Nothing changed. It was just as it was. Constant problems regarding these this area. And mm -mm, mm -mm, I was done. It's done. Then going up the chain of command, having dealt with all of that, get into General Gilman's office after the CID interrogation for hours. In regards of literally four hours. And then, you know, the three soldiers in that particular reference. And then, you know, then I just moved. Sold the house and done. I, uh-uh, uh-uh, done. Well, then I buy my house in Carrollton, Texas. No homeowners association. I have nosy neighbors, which are just as, you know, the equivalent of, especially if they had ever, see, if you leave a homeowners association, don't bring that with you. If you purchase property where you don't have a homeowners association, leave that with the homeowners association. Don't be those types because I live next to those types. I had these people where, oh, well, your fence is whatever. You have a great day and it's scary. My dog Ganesh was a baby. I could carry him like this. He literally was afraid of flutterbys. But my neighbors wanted to try to claim that he was scary when he was afraid of flutter vibes. Literally, he would cry, curl into the fetal position over a flutter vibe. Over a sparrow, the same thing. Curl into the fetal position, scared of these. He was 200 pounds, 200 pound Great Dane, afraid of a sparrow and a flutterby. I don't even know how, and so my new neighbors, no different than the homeowners association types essentially, complain about the fact my dog 
put his paws up like Marmaduke. They were afraid of a dog that was afraid of sparrows and flutterbys. There was an actual moth that came in the yard and it was scary. He was actually afraid of lost it over a ladybug. How like the, the this dog was like the biggest baby in the universe for a dog. I know that Great Danes are supposed to be considered as gentle giants. And then there was Ganesh. <laughs> he was such a baby. I actually had to carry him like a baby to calm him down. 200 pound Great Dane dog. I weigh 115. I am carrying a 200 pound Great Dane dog in the fetal position with his head right here whimpering. But my new neighbors are all, oh, he put his paws up like Marmaduke. I'm fairly certain Marmaduke was still a gentle giant, but whatever. <laughs> Big baby just, just cried. <laughs> Had to actually rock this 200 pound Great Dane in my arms because he was so scared one time because of a sparrow. Yeah, no, 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 no. But they were scared of this. Just saying. So then I dated a guy. <laughs> and I learned he lived in a homeowners association. And I looked and I was like, I don't know. I don't know if we can. And at first I was joking because I was like, I don't know if we can date. Hey, why not? Because you live in a homeowners association. No, thank you. Uh-uh, I'm known by some homeowners association, I don't know. Is it by Procom? I'm known, mm -hmm. I'm known. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not necessarily something to be proud of, but at the same time, it's one of those, mm -hmm, I defeated a homeowners association law firm. <sighs> A shed is permanent because of me. That's right. Mm -hmm. Don't be happy. <laughs> you know, what can I say? So, <laughs> well, so he, this male, he was like, well, you know, he, I had shown him the, inside of my house, as far as my house in Carrollton, and he's like, it looked like a unicorn threw up in here. I did not squeeze your head and ask your opinion. Thank you. Awesome. I'll leave that alone. And so, <laughs> although I technically didn't ask his opinion, so I'll leave it at that, and that's in a different reference, so that it, we dated briefly. I'll just leave that there. And so, <laughs> I can make fun of it. It is what it is. I literally can. And so <laughs> that is as it is, nonetheless, talked blasphemy up in my house, telling me that in his homeowners is the Keep your homeowners association garbage outside my house. Outside my property. Uh-uh, no. Mm 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 no. Uh-uh. Dare to speak the words of all owners' associations. I rebuke you. Like just uh-uh. No, you do not talk smack about that here. Uh-uh. No, it's my house, my home. Blast. There are people throughout the DFW, Austin, and San Antonio, most specifically adult consenting lifestyle communities where I gave warnings about this. Because I was like, mm-mm, 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 you have no idea. 
They, like, and they thought I was joking, and it's like, no, 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 I don't think you understand. Like, literally, this, they tell you, you have to ask them permission to change the color of your house. So when it came to the shed and, and that whole thing, the president of the Homeowners Association, you want to talk about communism. Well, wh your shed is six inches taller than everybody else's shed. I don't care. Well, your shed is this and that. I don't care. Well, your shed is different here. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. My shed and my property have absolutely nothing to do with your opinion of your own shed. If you don't like that my shed is six inches taller and has however many, you want to talk about socialist, you want to talk about communist, go live in a homeowners association. In my opinion, I wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of children that grew up in a homeowners association neighborhood, I wouldn't be surprised if you got a bunch of Democrats running around and going and wanting some socialism. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because oh well in the homeowners, everything we saw, everything was exactly the same. So because everything was exactly the same, everything has to be exactly the same, because MK Ultra in that reference. And so, mm -mm, nope, I made my stance known. Uh-uh, no Second Amendment. No, I don't think so. In the state of Texas, you have more of these popping up in the state of Texas. Going and saying that the Second Amendment matters? I don't know about that because you go in and having no problems whatsoever. I made attempts to explain to that male about that. And his response was, no, that's not true. Go read your homeowners association covenant. I promise you, you will find it. And so I, I, I put it out there. A bunch of people were like, no, no, no. Well, here's the kicker. 2011, I had attended an event. And I can't remember what it, I think it was Club Fenton, and I was talking with a guy. Well, he lived out in Bastrop, and there was a bunch of situations. I wouldn't be surprised because of how certain things have been regarding certain types of certain construction of whatever you, I wouldn't be surprised if that fire situation in Bastrop, if there are homeowners association houses in that vicinity, I guarantee you, most likely, you could find something. As far as that's concerned, I wouldn't be surprised, especially in the state of Texas. Because Bastrop, Texas? Mm -mm. Because how are you going to have that knowing that there are military guys who are well-trained and actually, some of them actually have to have that for their what have you. There is no excuse for that. In my, so I took a stand throughout the time frame, essentially of 2002, all the way into 2012. I'd randomly talk about it. So 2002 through the time frame of 2009, mainly, I went on popping off about the homeowners association because it was uh-uh you people need to pay attention because i'm telling you this is how it started up in new jersey i wouldn't be surprised since i think greg gutfeld said that he was living out in california you got that going and then okay sure the property values of the houses yeah are probably still high who can afford them though so I wonder in regards of Michigan, even though I know that it's been around a lot longer, I want to be, if there are there homeowners associations or was it the neighborhood watch program? Because that's kind of a precursor in certain references. There are certain, um, I don't know what they're called, but I know that there are references regarding those particular types of situations. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case, especially when you take in consideration how California has gone in the comparison. And I wouldn't be surprised if someone like Eminem and them would be capable to know that sort of factor or Marshall Mathers. And so 
that's one of those things. If there's the equivalent of these homeowners associations, because in New Jersey, there are certain areas where you cannot have a fence line. You have to have the complete area open in comparison. You can't, there's all, and it, it makes no sense whatsoever why you wouldn't have a fence line. But that's part of some of those that have that homeowners association stuff going on. Because if they couldn't get certain things to go, then they went and contacted the um, elected officials. You want to talk about bureaucracy? Heavily go, I wouldn't be surprised if you were to find when it comes to homeowners associations, the amount of bureaucracy that started to increase just because of. If you look at the time frame, if it's about a five to 10 year time frame between the first housing community that had homeowners associations to the time frame of when bureaucracy became more and more self-evident in the overall election aspects, I would not be surprised if that had a timing that was in similar aspects at all in any capacity. Because, you know, I mean, my biological mother, she, she believed certain things in regards of whether some people believe it or not, because she was actually envious of the people in the Carlton Homes area. It's like, I don't think so. They had a lot of underground issues because of the uh, wetlands that once were uh, forest, but became wetlands because of. And so they had a bunch of issues in their basements at that point in time. And because of the amount of rain that occurs in the New Jersey area. And so it was known that they were already forming the wetlands at that time in New Jersey behind the house property that um, I had grown up in. If they already had issues. There was the, the well that was on the one side of the house that um, several times the water had raised and then receded. Again, uh, in a prior official YouTube video of mine, I refer to Arkansas when you see certain rising of black water-ish sort of stuff and then it recedes back into the ground. That's similar, but in my backyard, it was red. And so it was heavily uh, iron filled and a few other situations in conjunction. And so, but the wetlands were already forming in the backyard, uh, the house I grew up in. So for the reference point at the time, you have the garage, you have the, um, on the in-ground Olympic-sized pool, you have a raised garden area, and then it's kind of a little weird L shape where there were lilacs, um, ras wild raspberry bushes with some trees, and then dogwoods. This area from the raised bed back to the dogwoods would, after rain, it would be like a wetland. It took, it, it rained heavily, it took about a week and a half before that ground would dry out. That's wetlands. And so, and that was still with the forestry that was there. And it was, it wouldn't even have to rain more than two or three days before that would be an issue for the ground. So that's something that's brought up in regards of over there. So those were Carlton homes, which is an irony of Carrollton, Texas. And so there's a few issues regarding certain types in that hypothetical. So while they didn't know what they were doing regarding some of the people that have gotten into the homeowners associations, the reality is what the reality is. I made attempts to explain to people, a bunch of them just were like, oh, well, that's nothing to worry about. That's nothing to worry about. And it's one of those, okay. And while I pointed all these situations out as to what I dealt with, and this is before the Fort Worth Zoo, this is before my scuba diving, this is before all of that. These situations were, what were they gonna tattletale on me about? Being honest, 
because they, you know, there were people in the neighborhood, anytime they spoke out against the homeowners association, it goes back to the cat's eye second um, portion, where there were whatevers. And it's one of those, that's not a way to be acceptable in a civilized society. That is not civilized at all. Especially when you know for a fact that there's nothing being done that's actually wrong and you're just upset because of that. That does not show maturity. That shows the lack of maturity in every capacity. So there's quite a few situations in those references regarding those homeowners association types. Because then the irony of irony is, if you know, for certain areas, you want to assist the homeowners association that way, what do you think that translates to? I mean, you know, it was such a revolutionary thing for me to speak the truth about the homeowners association in Pheasant Creek subdivision, a bunch of the people were like, it's such a revolutionary act that you have the nerve to say that. It's the truth. Why is this a problem? How don't you see this? And a bunch of people in the homeowners association had their opinions. I was not a fan at all. Mm -mm. Takes a bit to dis, uh, disassemble a homeowners association if you don't have the right circumstances. And so, but you have to, there are only certain circumstances that can get them to disband because of the amount of legalities, because of how many intricacies depending on the area. It's just the facts. I made attempts to warn people over and over again because unless you can get the homeowners association company to do it on their own, which translates to you having to get your own lawyers and go after them and all that sort of stuff. Good luck. I made attempts. People didn't want to listen to the truth at the time. That's one of those. This is the facts. I made attempt after attempt after attempt. So then, you know, I wouldn't be surprised in regards to Kim Brown, Marcy Cremens, and Rebecca Schrader if the three of those females regarding my daughter's uh, field trip to the Fort Worth Zoo where Tammy Hatcher had said that I wasn't needed in regards of my daughter's uh, field trip at the Fort Worth Zoo because of how I physically looked. This was actually what I was told by Tammy Hatcher in regards of my daughter. I took care of the field trip the year before. I didn't lose one child. Those three females with less children per to watch over couldn't keep track of that. So I wouldn't be surprised if Kim Brown lied in regards to my daughter in the Fort Worth Zoo and or Marcy Cremens lied and or Rebecca Schrader lied, whatever it is regarding my daughter because of the issues that were already going on in reference to the military aspects. Additionally, in reference to the aspects that my son and my daughter's biological father died the year before as far as the time frame from 2009, which I had already been going on with Angela Ryder, the uh, guidance counselor about, I had informed the staff there, those people in McCoy Elementary School of Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District, the, the amount of those people that reminded me of homeowners association types wouldn't be a surprise to me at all whatsoever in any capacity and so their issues as far as the way my daughter shouldn't have ever been bullied nor should my son have been bullied so they had issues with my son having gotten straight A's and having a short mohawk for the summer that's how to those levels those people have been when you infringe on personal rights and you're a homeowners association type that's a problem, fully. 
Those people, as far as McCoy Elementary School, told my daughter that they believed my dead ex-husband was a murderer just because he was in the Army. They also said the same thing in regards to me, and I informed them that I didn't graduate basic training. While they also knew that in reference to my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, which they were informed of, and those people in that area, while they knew that I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain when my children started at McCoy Elementary School, and then looked at me because how I physically look in those references, making their comments the way they did, when it's one of those, please, I can see who you personally are. You have the nerve to try to judge who I am? I don't think so with your background. Don't ever look at me in that capacity at all. And so those types, so I wouldn't be surprised because Kim Brown being one of those types of blondes and then Marcy Cremins being one of those types of blondes and then Rebecca Schrader as far as whatever brunette of whatever in that capacity. whoop de do And then at the time frame, okay, so there's my scuba diving. In the year of 2009, what type of trifling sorts knowing that I landed at the bottom of the ocean, earned as I have. How many would try to ride coattails in that type of a town? I wouldn't be surprised, especially in regards of the modeling aspects because of how many pop culture needless situations. If in that hypothetical, not that I actually had certain capacities of, but those types because of just the stereotypical pop culture reference, not knowing the actualities of, and then having been born and raised in New Jersey, the automatic lack of common sense, lack of any apparent intelligence, because why would they? They'd have the stereotypical MK Ultra, and if they had any viewpoint in regards of my house, yeah, okay, the one house I had that I was capable to make a home for less than one year before all sorts of what have you regarding those people and that type. Those types of those people and the situations my son, my daughter and I dealt with because of those types. So while, yes, I know it's not considered racism because I have tattoos and my hair is the way it is, it's still bigotry, though. And that doesn't change it at all. Unless you want to go and make the stretch because of where I was born and raised and grew up going to, as to my cousin Jade and her biological father, which I spent a lot of time in the areas of the five boroughs, as well as Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, though my daughter and my son's biological father is half Cherokee and half Dominican. So those particular, and then I'm half Chinese. So those types of those people, I made attempts to explain and people didn't want to pay attention Back in 2009, back in 2010, especially even in 2008, brought it up and these people in those areas, oh no, it's, well, it, and then I got blamed because of my tattoos. Well, then that's ADA violations, which I brought up back in those years throughout the state of Texas. Look, no different in certain capacities in that hypothetical. So there's the CFBISD board meeting where they didn't have the pledge to the American flag. They also didn't get the pledge to the Texas flag. However, in regards of the Austin 2020 election cycle and the viewpoint of the perception, yeah, I didn't ever say the pledge to the Texas flag before. Because I was born and raised in New Jersey. And so, Without ever having been informed that that was a situation, why would I ever know about the pledge to the Texas flag? On top of that, why should I have even had to deal with that? 
during the time frame of the 2020 election or even before. I was born and raised in New Jersey and the only flag that matters, to be quite frank, in regards of the pledge is the Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag. You can have your individualized state flags, but there is no excuse for making anybody have to ever say that stupid pledge. Because what does that matter realistically compared to the United States of America, in my opinion? So while I didn't really get into it, obviously, but then again, you know, I was in the state of Texas and all you gotta do is look at any video footage around in the vicinity of where I was standing beforehand. Whatever the viewpoint is regarding that. I'm not going to be surprised if some of them are from homeowners associations, though. Hypothetically. So, you know, that is as it is. If there's any connections, right? So, that's just how long in those references, in those capacities of, and whatever connections that are capable to be found in that hypothetical. So then there's the situations regarding how my son and I wound up in Washington State after what occurred regarding the San Antonio family court situation because of the Fort Worth Zoo and so on and so forth. Any connection to a homeowners association type, um, you might want to think about that. You know, if you actually care about children and if you care about life. But you know, it depends on if you actually do. At the very minimum, you can be a stereotype and care more about the Second Amendment. I mean, I guess there's that backup. That viewpoint, hypothetically. So, you know. Yeah, that's what happened. I stood up to the Homeowners Association. And then when one of my neighbors had received a piece of paper to go to Apple Creek subdivision, I didn't know how stupid you had to be to be a part of that. Both homeowners associations being the gateway to hell in both of the neighborhoods because hell, oh, we got one. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be a surprise at all. But those types that actually enjoy that, and yet what they have to actually pay attention to in comparison. So how do you fix and repair the damages in regards of when it comes to myself as well as my son and my daughter and I as a family? So in regards of McCoy Elementary School in Carrollton, Texas of Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District, that was the one house that I was capable to make a home for my son, my daughter and I as a family for the time frame that is a one time only time frame for my son, my daughter and I as a family. There's only one time that you get that, that that's just the facts. But those types don't think about that. Then there are the facts. My daughter and my son and my niece were not on my scuba diving trips. How ignorant would you actually have to be? Sure, they were there in the trip aspect, but they weren't there when I went scuba diving. You know, unless you're ignorant and wouldn't be capable to actually think for yourself. Because if you actually could think, you would pay attention to that instead. But yes, I did take them to a dolphin excursion where there were the capability to see schools of dolphin and snorkel. You know, there's a difference between snorkeling and scuba diving. I know I can go deep, but that's me, obviously. So, you know, those types of those types. 
And so any situation regarding how my son and I wound up in Washington State, that doesn't fix or repair anything I dealt with those types, just so you know, at all. And no, I will rebuke your types over and over again. I will condemn any of those females when it comes to my son. I will condemn any of their males when it comes to my daughter. 100%. I fully will not allow that. There will not ever be any allowance regarding those because of my standards. It's a reality. Because you don't have the respect to pay the correct homage to the correct individual, I will condemn permanently. I don't have to be like certain people when it comes to baptisms. I don't need that closeness. I'll permanently condemn. Because especially after what occurred when it comes to my son, my daughter and I as a family, uh-uh. Absolutely not. Especially those three females. They haven't fixed or repaired anything in the correct capacities. And there's only one person to go through, yet again. Just as similarly regarding scuba diving, there's only one person to speak with. You know, but you have to do it correctly. And if you don't know how to do it correctly, then you can ask. But you have to ask. And when you ask, it has to, you know, I'll go to the NPR reference. You have to make a written request with etiquette and respect as to how to ask. Or, and, and there's the aspects of my website, www.susanmealing.com. There's a subject line. As far as something different, if it's not already listed, there's obviously that. It's common sense, you know with that intellectual capability, of course. It's what the subject line is. Common sense. Or you could have just asked. You know, using your words, but you have to be honest. That's mandatory. You can't pretend. And even withholding certain things is considered a lie just as a just-in-case reference regarding the comedy location in Seattle, Washington to the coffee shop at a leaky beach regarding Rebecca Schrader, if that's the same one. But since I was born and raised in New Jersey, unlike someone that would be ignorant in the state of Texas would ever think that that would actually be considered as something that would stand out, I was born and raised in New Jersey. I've heard a lot of last names. Common sense. But those types that would think that that would be, um, you know, that needing to grow up aspect, those desperate housewives types, you know, that want and seek the attention and, you know, those, those types in comparison to actually earning so I wouldn't be surprised in reference to the male that I had at one point in time dated, nor would I be surprised because of, you know, scuba diving, nor would I be surprised in reference to who I was engaged to twice to because of the last name. But, you know, also because I look as I do in comparison to them. Because, you know, I look as I do. And this was 2000 nine into 2010 in Carrollton, Texas. You know, the stereotype is their viewpoints in comparison to actually being humane, decent individuals, you know, because of their assumptions. Because why would you ever actually treat someone who looks as I do with humanity? Other than that's what humanity is. So those types regarding those situations with those people in those references. And while I could be incorrect, 
If I am, then I can acknowledge being incorrect. However, even in reference to the neighbors in the cul-de-sac in my Carrollton house area, I dealt with the same thing. As far as that stuff in McCoy Elementary School. There was the house across the cul-de-sac that were as they were. There was the house in the middle of the cul-de-sac where any attempt I made to speak with, he walked away as far as when he, that it was when he was mowing the lawn, which I wasn't going to walk up behind him and all that. And then the other one next door, as far as that was concerned, and those types regarding my dog. So, you know, had more important stuff to take care of than caring about any of their opinions of me. Because I know how I already look. I've already dealt with those types. Um, I, I dealt with dealing with Mike, Anna, and Patricia complained to me in San Antonio about how I physically look. Not just as a child, not just as a teenager, obviously as a biological adult as well. So in the year 2005, I dealt with that. 2006, dealt with that, obviously. So, you know, I know what bigotry is as far as being treated in that, or mistreated in that capacity. Nothing new, especially when it comes to the state of Texas. You'd think that them being so proud to vote for 44, as far as the President of the United States of America, Barack Obama, you would think that they would actually pay attention. Maybe it's because they didn't see it enough because of that homeowners association type situation. Maybe that's what it took for them to pay attention to details. Though I could be incorrect. If I'm correct though, I'm sure it'll be capable to be seen. Just as similarly. So, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like my official YouTube video. Subscribe to my official YouTube channel. If you're going to leave a comment, make sure to have etiquette and respect. Go to my website, www.susanmeeling.com. Also is known as www.ladydorybell.com. Same person, and since that was the reference regarding my modeling when in the DFW area and having had Zippy, my VW Beetle Bumblebee looking car that was yellow with black interior and a black convertible top turbo engine, you know, I looked as I did driving around, which I wouldn't know how I actually looked because I didn't pay attention to what I looked as when I was driving my car. So, you know, whatever the hypotheticals, those time frames of common sense, the references regarding my daughter, my son, and I. So, you guys have a good day. It's the 21st of May, 2022. So, yes, I know the needless problems regarding that realtor on the corner of Pheasant Creek subdivision when you turn on Pine Manor because he has to see my shed every day whenever he would go into his garage to go and stare down whatever in the other side of Apple Creek because, you know, he complained that he couldn't see clearly through the shed. He complained directly to me first, and when I said, well, that's not my problem. It's my shed. I'm the one who dealt with what I deal with, and why are you even staring at something that's not for you to stare at anyway? Which, he didn't like that very much. He also had an issue with some macaw birds in the area, and my shed kept the view clear out of his sight. So. Thanks for tuning in. You guys have a good day. The 21st of May, 2022. Thanks, Greg Gutfeld Show, <laughs> for the reminder about the news situation and how the NPR aspects is so much, so similar to homeowners associations.